Good afternoon. Today, I'm going to present a video to you about something that I think a lot of people don't think about. Putting on their socks and shoes. Yes, I said putting on my socks and shoes. You know, a lot of times uh, we have things in our lives that we don't even have to think about. It's just something we do as part of our lives. Some people don't even think about throwing on shoes and socks, especially if you're late. Uh, if you just, you know, want to throw on some slides and walk around the house. Whole different story with me, and I'm going to share this story with you. Now, uh, first off, let me show you a picture. This is a picture of me the first day that I walked. And I wasn't supposed to walk. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even supposed to live past three days. But this was me, three years old, first day that I walked. Uh, I was born with what's called club feet, meaning my toes were curled in and my feet were actually pointing at each other. So what the doctors had to do to me as a baby was they had to break my toes and feet. They had to cast them, move them out, and try to let the bones settle. They'd take the cast off, re-break my toes and feet, move everything around, and do it again. And then a couple weeks later, do it again and again until my feet were straight. What a mess. But anyway, got me going. And then once again, like I said, I um, didn't walk till I was three. Now, those metal braces on my feet, if you remember the movie Forrest Gump, um, yeah, that's the kind of braces he had. His were a little bit bigger. But I had to wear those for uh, most of my youth my, as a young boy. Now I wear plastic braces, which you'll see in a minute. Um, my, if you remember back, uh, when you were a kid and you used to go to the store with your mom, you'd always try to hide from your mom when you were at the store. Well, that was never possible with me because, um, my braces would squeak everywhere. My mom would always say that she could always find me because she would just have to listen to the squeaky braces in the store. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> But, you know, um, I used to do a, a day in my class when I was a teacher. Those of you that are my students remember this. Uh, I used to call it Mr. Ellis Day. Uh, I would teach them all about my disability, about arthrogryposis. And part of that day, part of that lesson was me taking off and putting on my shoes. And I'll tell you this. Here's something. You could hear a pin drop in that classroom. My students were never as quiet as whenever I took my shoes off and put them back on. It was a, sometimes a little awkward and I always had to like say something to, to decrease the levity because I mean it was like gee whiz man uh, y'all are really really focused in which was a good thing it wasn't a bad thing because I wanted them to learn and I, they were thinking you, I could feel their brain waves <laughs> which is crazy but anyway um, so here we go, putting on my socks and shoes. Now, before we get started, I need to introduce you to a couple of items. Item number one is tube socks. And you'll notice there's a little loop sewn on the end of these tube socks that actually started by my mother years and years and years and years ago. Those are actually shoestrings that are cut and sewn on the side of my socks that will help me pull them up. You'll see that in a little bit. This is my dressing stick, which I use to help dress. <laughs> and these are my boots that I'm gonna wear today. You'll notice they have Velcro on them. You'll notice that uh, they are high top because with my braces that I wear, I have to wear high top shoes or they will slide out of my braces and you'll see that they've got little loops on on them uh usually usually the velcro sewing onto the boots costs more than the boots themselves <laughs> and these are my braces they are plastic one is older than the other i've got a new pair that i just oh man they hurt my feet like crazy but i've got to get used to wearing them so uh these are my braces been wearing them for years i have to wear them because if i don't my foot drops 
down and I have trouble um, walking because I don't have a lot of muscle in my feet. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, and here we go. Of course, step one, the socks. Now, I always have to make sure these tube socks are longer than the braces, because if they're not longer than the braces, then what good are they? The braces will rub up against my skin, and you don't want that, because, geez, it hurts, and it's aggravating. So, uh, here we go with some socks. Um, like I said, you know, uh, earlier, you get up in the morning, and you get dressed, and you run for the door. A lot of people don't think about how uh, other folks do this. So uh, sometimes this takes some time, and some days are better than others. And oh my goodness, some days you just really, really stink. But you know, it's got to be done. I can't function without my braces, which means I can't function without the socks. So socks got to go first. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> now, like I said, I remember back in the day when I was teaching this part right here. Man, the kids would get so quiet. It's just awkward, but hey, it happens, right? It is what it is, and they were learning, which was the important thing. So there's sock number one. I'm gonna get it pulled up all the way. Always gotta wear these white socks, never really wear any other colors. I'm pretty much locked in because they only make two long tube socks in white. If you ever see any long tube socks in another color and you wanna buy them for me, feel free. That would be <laughs> kinda cool, but yeah, as of now, it's white tube socks. Now, Something I haven't mentioned yet, my two feet are kind of different. One of them has a lot more mobility. The right foot has a lot more ability, and I can actually wiggle some of those toes and use them better than my left foot. My left foot, especially the big toe on my left foot, is sometimes gets in the way because I can't wiggle that toe or lift it up or get it out of the way or move it around. So, uh, you know, that sometimes can be a drag, but we move on. Now, here we go with braces. I didn't, uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't learn how to put these things on myself until I was probably about 18 or 19 years old. Uh, my folks put them on. I remember, matter of fact, I remember in the mornings, my mom used to get me ready for school, putting my shoes on, and I'd watch the Three Stooges. God, I love the Three Stooges. And uh, we'd wait for the little yellow bus to pick me up. In the mornings, my mom used to get me ready for school, putting my shoes on, and I'd watch the Three Stooges. God, I love the Three Stooges. And uh, we'd wait for the little yellow bus to pick me up can take me to school. Yes, I got to ride the little yellow bus, which I'll tell some of those stories. One day you'll love some of those stories because those were a trip and I met some interesting folks riding the little yellow bus. It wasn't just me. So here we go. Boot. Number one, once again, like I said, I have to wear high top shoes only because low tops slide out of the braces. And so I don't wanna be walking down the street and my shoe fly off and then I gotta get someone to help me put them on. By the way, uh, speaking of help, never, 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 never be afraid to ask for help. It's something I've learned my whole life is about asking for help. If it's got to be asked, 
it's got to be asked and there's a rare time in my life where I've been told no I, don't, I can't help you it's kind of weird now with coronavirus and quarantine and everything and people don't want to talk to each other with their masks over their face or touch things that other people have touched but uh, hey life's got to go on which is topic of another video one day but anyway there goes shoe number one okay here comes number two like I said this foot's a little bit more difficult than the other one and it'll take me a little bit more time there we go so someone asked me a question well, I'm doing this, please. <laughs> That's what I used to have to do in class when it would get real quiet during Mr. Ellis Day. I remember those days. I remember uh, I'd get some crazy questions. Uh, I used to always ask about my car, though. I've already done that video. But other crazy ones too and never took it as a uh, insult or nothing because they're kids they need to ask they need to learn and so I was glad to be able to share so there's race number two and one more boot gotta hope that this video is recording right now because I haven't looked over at the phone and I almost got my shoes on and if it doesn't record I gotta do this all over again <laughs> which is okay when I really don't want to doing this on one take by the way here's the other shoe I gotta kick it in there we go let's get the tongue in straight velcro strap number one and velcro strap number two and ladies and gentlemen I'm ready for the day okay so there we go putting on shoes now look I want you all to understand something we all have stuff that we've got to go through we all have struggles in our lives we all have things that we just don't want to do but sometimes we got to do these things in order to function for the rest of the day for the rest of our lives for whatever we got to do I don't know what yours are I hope they aren't mountains. I hope they're just little hills that you got to go through every day. You know, in my video, there were times maybe that I complained a little bit too much about putting on my shoes because things could be worse. Maybe I wouldn't be able to walk at all. Maybe I wouldn't even have feet. Who am I to complain? Life is way too short. We're going to come out of this quarantine and we're going to hopefully be brand new people. I thank you all for watching this video. And once again this week, and none of y'all did it last week. I'm a little disappointed in you. In the comments below, let me know what kind of video you want me to post in the future. Period. Period. Exclamation point. <laughs> anyway, have a great day.